you're not on the show. I'm not. <laughs> but, um, but I expect to know. Yeah, I expect to know. <laughs> What's up, guys? It's Susan Morad here with Clever News. And I don't know about you, but I love a good horror movie, and clearly so does Finn Wolfhard. When it comes to films, first he starred in It, and now he's in the equally scary ghost story psychological thriller horror film The Turning. Now we got to sit down with Finn and chat all about his new movie, and don't worry, I also asked him about Stranger Things Season 4, We'll get to that part. But first, let's talk about The Turning. Now, this movie takes us to a very creepy estate in the main countryside. Like the kind of spooky mansion that I would personally turn my car around and drive the other way if I saw it. But in the movie, the newly appointed nanny Kate, aka Mackenzie Davis, did exactly the opposite of that. She went in full force and was in charge of caring for two disturbed orphans, Flora and Miles, aka Brooklyn Prince and Finn Wolfhard. Quickly though, Kate discovers that both the children and the house have some dark and twisted secrets. And things are definitely not exactly how they originally seem. Without giving anything away that you won't be able to get from the trailer, Kate starts to believe that the kids are haunted by evil spirits and this belief leads her to try to rescue the children from these dark forces. It's seriously so spooky you guys and from someone who's actually seen the film, I can guarantee you, you'll be on the edge of your seat for the entire time. Finn, who plays Miles Fairchild, one of the orphan children, is wealthy, entitled, moody and unpredictable and Finn is an absolute natural in this role. We got to get Finn's view on the character he plays. Finn, you play Miles a 15 year old boy who I've got to say was really hard to figure out for me. Yeah, me too. <laughs> One minute you're like this <laughs> sweet boy and the next minute you kind of become this creepy, mysterious, almost much older person. Yeah. How would you describe him and what is his story? He He's this kid who, um, you know, he's the older brother of mm -hmm. um, Flora and, and they are, they're thoroughbreds yeah. and their parents died in a car accident so he's kind of, in, he goes to boarding school so he's kind of alone but uh, he's influenced uh, uh, fully by uh, their uh, their horse riding instructor Quint, who is this kind of toxic masculine. Mis you know, he was very, very uh, like just one of those you know people. And uh, Miles has kind of been trained by him almost. And Quint dies, and you, so you don't really know if Miles is like if he's, you know, and that's also what attracted me to the character. Is like one minute he's a scared teenager, and the next minute he's like a really gross, sexist person, and then the next minute he's also, like, scary. I don't know, He's he has a lot of layers. Yeah. And that's also, like, when we were, when I was doing work for the character, you know, we did a lot of work about kind of mm -hmm. making, you know, him in some parts be more, uh, I guess, like, like, different. He's kind of all yeah. over the map. Yeah. Someone else who had their take on Finn's character Miles was Mackenzie Davis who plays Miles and Flora's nanny Kate Mandel. And I must say Mackenzie absolutely steals the show in this role. You can honestly feel her fear as you watch the story unfold. Bad dreams? I told you guys this film is freaky. Anyway, when describing Finn's character and her character's relationship with him, Mackenzie said this. In this one, Finn was at this point like between being a man and being a boy, and it feels that way where this there's just this shifting dynamic of how to approach like a teenage boy. You can't really have a lot of governance over them. <laughs> um, so I think it developed into like a, just a, a weird murkiness that can be very uncomfortable. Um, yeah. <laughs> and he's so awful. <laughs> I know, he's it's so awful movie. to you in this To be clear, he's I like know. such a jerk. <laughs> I know what you're afraid of. Keeping the lights on won't keep you safe. And we also heard from the incredibly talented Brooklyn Prince, who plays the sweet young sister of Miles, Flora, and on her relationship with her big brother. Yeah. And I'd love to hear about Flora. What was, what was Flora like for you and also her relationship? with her big brother, Miles? Well, the relationship with Miles was, you know, I think she loves her brother and she knows that he, this is the eerie thing about Flora. She knows that he's like. Got something going on. Something, yeah. something going creepy. On. And it's almost like, 
her and him have this game that they always play with their nannies. Mm. And, um, and I think she just really looks up to him to show her the way, to show her how to do stuff. And also she knows that he's, he's creepy, but she knows that he would never hurt her or scare her or anything. And while on the subject of scary things, of course we couldn't sit down with Finn and not try our luck with getting any clues about the next season of Stranger Things. And before we wrap up, I've got to really quickly ask you, because the fans sure. will, will be so annoyed if I don't, season four Stranger Things is coming up. What can Should. we expect? Is there anything you can share with us? No, about literally. I mean, we start shooting soon, and I have not gotten anything, like a script. I swear to God. And people are always so angry with me. I s was talking yesterday about this with, like, my family. People ask me all the time, they're like, so what can you tell us? And I'm like, they don't give us anything till the month before, so I genuinely, I, you think I'm being sneaky, but I'm not. I genuinely have no idea. But I don't know. Maybe try to, if you ever see another Stranger Things cast member, maybe they know something that I don't. Yeah. Um, even your family don't yeah. know. No, no maybe. idea. No <laughs> idea. Yeah, we'll see. I don't even know. And I'm she, not, I, yeah. I don't know. I, I... Yeah, you're not on the show. I'm not. <laughs> but, um, But I expect to know. Yeah, I expect to know. <laughs> well, you know what? We expect to know too. Well, we don't really expect to know, but come on, we would love to know. Even the slightest, like, little bit of a tidbit. So you know what? We actually took Finn's advice on this one, and sure enough, I was lucky enough to come across a couple more cast members from Stranger Things this last week on the 2020 SAG Awards red carpet. So I thought, you know what, I'm just going to shoot my shot. Now if you've watched the series, you couldn't miss Andre Ivchenko who plays Grigori in season 3. Seriously, like you couldn't actually miss him. He was really creepy, like that kind of Terminesque Russian guy threatening everyone, creeping around, kind of like knocking a lot of people out. So when I got to chat with him on the red carpet at the SAGs for Australian TV show The Watchlist on Foxtel, this is what he had to say about Stranger Things. But but this this particular season, it's more um, when the, the kids, not kids anymore, they becoming, they, they stepping into this adult life and they started to have these problems as all teenagers do, you know, and, and now it's like not only the evil force is not only the creature, but also Russian coming in, so they have to deal with that. Okay, so this sounds like it was probably more in reference to season three than season four, but to be honest, it would also make sense for season four. Either way, we cannot wait to see how season four unfolds. And I also got to chat with Francesca Real, who plays Heather Holloway, who played Billy's girlfriend, and she was essentially the flayed zombie queen. Although we know her fate from the end of season three, I even tried to see if, you know, she knew anything more about the next season. I'm dead. I'm dead. I can't tell you anything because I'm absolutely dead. Maybe, okay. I don't know, like I feel like when things happen, sometimes they don't really happen for real. Who knows, who knows, but I'm dead. Alas, it looks like we're just gonna have to wait till it gets closer to filming and or the release date to get more details. But at least we don't need to wait a second longer to see Finn playing another spooky role. The Turning is definitely a flick that needs to be on your watch list, and if you like horror movies with a lot of suspense and madness and incredible actors, this one is for you. But right now, you guys, I want to know what you think about all of this. Are you brave enough and excited to see The Turning? And also, are you excited to see Finn in another spooky role? Also, what do you think is going to happen in Stranger Things Season 4? Drop your predictions and your thoughts and what you thought of the trailer of this film in the comment section below. And while you're down there leaving comments, you guys, you should hit that subscribe button right there if you haven't before. I'll give you a few seconds. I've got nowhere to go. Like, I can just chill here for a little while and you might want to hit that subscribe button and also hit the bell to be notified the second we post a new Clever News update. After that, catch up on all the news you missed right over here. I'm Susan Morad. Thanks for hanging out with me and I'll catch you later. Bye guys.